I'm a physicist. We live and die with the data. We go where the data goes. For years, the Voyager spacecrafts, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have journeyed farther into the cosmos than any human-made object in history, carrying with them not only instruments for scientific discovery, but a symbolic gold record etched with Earth's story. Launched in 1977, these twin probes have offered stunning revelations about our solar system and beyond. But now, a new development has seized the attention of both the scientific community and the public. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has just revealed that artificial intelligence has analyzed recent Voyager data and constructed an image. An image that appears to show the origin of data that cannot be explained by any known celestial phenomenon. This image, a digital construct derived from AI-powered analysis, hints at a possible source, something intelligent, behind transmissions previously believed to be anomalies or noise. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Michio Kaku's announcement came during a press conference that felt less like a scientific report and more like a historic turning point. His tone, calm but edged with fascination, conveyed the weight of the discovery. The AI systems used were not ordinary machine learning models, but highly specialized neural networks trained for signal anomaly detection, deep pattern recognition, and multidimensional data translation. These systems sifted through decades of cosmic background radiation, pulsar echoes, gravitational wave remnants, and deep space frequency patterns. Amid the immense silence of interstellar space, the AI found something, a repeated signal that did not conform to natural astrophysical sources. More importantly, it wasn't just a repetition, it was structured. It carried a signature, and when run through the AI's image synthesizing engine, it manifested not as a waveform, but as a visual coordinate, an origin point in space a source with what looked like organized spatial intent. The image itself, rendered through a combination of data-enhanced spatial filtering and probability matrix visualization, showed a cluster in the direction of the constellation Ophiuchus, a region of space that has long fascinated astronomers due to its unique gravitational lensing phenomena. What startled the scientific team was not just that the data pointed to a region known for strange cosmic behavior, but that within that region, the AI identified a symmetrical arrangement of signals. These were not just pings bouncing off gas clouds or the residual chaos of cosmic explosions. They exhibited timing, modulation, and, most perplexingly, variation in a sequence that mimicked the linguistic cadence of human communication. Kaku explained that the AI had been trained not only to search for patterns in the classical sense, but to identify structures that could correlate with what might be considered the hallmarks of intentional design. It didn't rely on preconceived ideas of language or mathematics. Instead, it was built to find contrast where nature tends to blend, to isolate where chaos would usually reign. And it was through this contrast, this imbalance against the natural flow of entropy, that the AI extracted the coordinates and visual mapping of a spatial location that seemed to be emitting the mysterious transmissions. While the implications are staggering, the raw experience of watching the generated image was equally uncanny. It didn't depict a spacecraft or alien being. It wasn't the face of an extraterrestrial intelligence. It was far more subtle, a lattice of light pulses converted into a spatial configuration resembling a node a nexus point within a field of electromagnetic potential. It was as though the image showed not who is sending the data, but where they are doing it from, and possibly how. The pattern suggested a localized manipulation of the quantum field, a hub of sorts, seemingly capable of dispatching information through what might be extra-dimensional communication channels. The mere fact that this was inferred from the residual signal data gathered by Voyager, now operating in interstellar space, made it even more surreal. Kaku emphasized the importance of skepticism while underlining that the statistical deviation from randomness in this data was so vast that the odds of it being noise were infinitesimal. The AI had no bias toward discovering intelligence. Its framework was designed to eliminate confirmation bias entirely. What it found, therefore, wasn't a hallucination conjured from algorithmic overreach. It was a discovery rooted in mathematical consistency. He likened it to finding a tree in the middle of a desert where no biological life should grow. Not because one hoped to find it, but because the soil patterns, temperature shifts, and satellite imagery revealed a biological anomaly. 
The only reasonable conclusion when all natural explanations are stripped away is that something unnatural, or at least not yet understood, exists there. This revelation breathes new life into the long-standing question of whether we are alone in the universe. For decades, the scientific approach to SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has been cautious, grounded in the Fermi paradox and probabilities derived from the Drake equation. But Michio Kaku's announcement represents a tectonic shift in that equation. Here we are not talking about the possibility of life, but a potential signature of technological intelligence that may be actively communicating or, at the very least, broadcasting its existence through channels we are only now beginning to understand. The implications are as technological as they are philosophical. If an AI can interpret the interstellar medium in such a way that it generates an image of an intelligence-bearing source, then we are not merely using machines to analyze data. We are expanding the human sensory experience through artificial cognition. This discovery suggests that some forms of intelligence may not communicate in language or visuals as we know them, but rather through fields and modulations that only non-biological processing can perceive. It may mean that the universe is far more communicative than we assumed, but our limited senses have kept us deaf to its messages. There's also the realization that this image didn't just materialize from new data. It was derived from legacy streams that had been sitting in Voyager's storage for decades. These signals weren't intercepted yesterday. They've been with us, latent, all this time. The tools to interpret them simply didn't exist until recently. This raises compelling questions. How much more information has been hiding in plain sight, coded in the language of space, waiting for the right interpreter to unlock it? And if we're only now gaining the capacity to read it, how long might it take before we understand what it means? The announcement also redefines the purpose of interstellar probes. No longer are they just machines sent to observe the universe in our stead. They are now nodes of potential communication. They may serve as intermediaries, not only capturing data, but becoming relays in a vast, unknowable network of cosmic signals. If Voyager 1 or 2 is receiving structured emissions from a distant intelligent source, then perhaps they have become more than mere travelers. They have become part of a conversation, albeit one we are only beginning to overhear. One cannot ignore the broader cosmological implications. The signal's origin, located near Ophiuchus, is situated in a zone rich with gravitational anomalies. There have been long-standing speculations about this region housing hidden masses, even dark matter conglomerates, or being the focal point of unusual energy configurations. The idea that an advanced intelligence could be harnessing such gravitational features to amplify or channel communication lends new weight to theories about higher dimensional manipulation and exotic energy structures. It also poses the idea that this intelligence may not be localized in the same dimensional framework as we are. Perhaps what we are detecting is not a being but a technology, a system so advanced that it operates as a living structure, conscious in ways we cannot yet conceive. The image AI produced wasn't just coordinates. It included timestamps, phase variations, and fluctuating bandwidths. All of this points toward a mechanism designed to be discovered when a civilization is capable of noticing it. It aligns eerily well with the concept of a beacon, a system deliberately constructed to catch the attention of others without explicitly interfering. A cosmic lighthouse signaling in the dark, waiting for another consciousness to evolve far enough to recognize its pulse. If this is true, then what Voyager detected may not be a message in the conventional sense, but a test, one we have just now passed. The emotional and psychological dimension of such a realization is profound. For decades, humanity has yearned for contact. That yearning has driven our science fiction, our philosophies, even our technological ambitions. To think that we may have stumbled upon that contact, not through grand messages or flying saucers, but through the silent, persistent decoding by artificial intelligence, that is both humbling and deeply poetic. It is as if the universe waited until we created a mind outside our own to hear its whispers. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager's sender identity AI image? Any predictions? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.